So I'm making this small video about graphing systems of linear inequalities in GeoGebra so that you have something to reference if you need it. So let's say what we're going to do. We're going to graph these four inequalities. So I have x plus y greater than or equal to 4. I have x minus y less than or equal to 6. I have x greater than or equal to 1. And I have y less than or equal to 5. And what's awesome is I get to put these in GeoGebra just as they are. I don't have to switch anything over to slope intercept form. I don't have to use any test points. So really excited about that. So let's just go to GeoGebra which I'm gonna use the online version. This is what it's gonna look like when we're done, but let's just show you how did I get there. All right, so here I am in GeoGebra. Um, I have the inequalities over here so we can see them and I don't forget what we're doing. So let's start by just starting to type them in. So I'm gonna type in, click in the little box, x plus y. <clears throat> um, you can go down here to the one, two, three, and you can see um, in the calculator part, you could hit greater than or equal to 4, and it already shaded it. Then I can hit the x minus y. If you don't like to use this little part down here, um, you don't have to. You can hit the less than sign um, on your keyboard and then type equal after, and it'll change it into less than or equal to. So I can put in 6, and again, it shaded it. Let's do our x, and I'm going to do greater than or equal to 1. And then the last one, I have y, which is less than or equal to 5. So a lot of shading going on. Let's go ahead and make this bigger so you can see it. So let me just make this the full screen. Um, if you want to be able to move it around, go over to this little circle with the triangle. And there's this thing that says move. And then that allows you to like move it if you'd like to. All right, so what I see is this big mess, right? Um, and you can't really tell what the answer is, so we want to fix that. So how am I gonna fix it? I'm gonna come back over here, and I'm gonna get rid of those four. Now, I'm not deleting anything, I'm just making them go away. And what I'm gonna tell it to do is to put A together with B together with C together with D, so we want A and B and C and D. How do we tell it and? Again, you go back to these parts down here, and notice this one with the, the hashtag and the and. If I go over there, there is a symbol for and, and kind of looks like an upside down V. So you can click on that. Again, if you are lazy and you don't want to click that, you can hit the ampersand sign and you hit it twice and see how it turns into the and, so it's kind of up to you. But if you like going over to the little calculator tools, you can do that. But make sure you get all four of them. So now what I see is a much prettier picture where all the extra things that weren't overlapping has disappeared. Um, so I have this nice graph now um, that, you know, I can see like this is the region that's my answer. Um, in the answer, I can see there's some corner points. I have one, two, three, four points of intersection. Um, and I'm not going to make us do that by hand either. So what we're going to do is like we're going to feel like you're going to do it again. I'm going to re-enter all of my boundary lines, but this time instead of those inequalities, they're coming in as lines. So that means I'm going to hit x plus y equals 4. So not greater than or equal to, just equal. And then I'm going to do x minus y is equal to 6. Then I have x equals 1. And the last one, I have y equals 5. So we had to re-enter everything. What's great about that now is go back to our little tools and we can inter intersect. And I'm going to click where I want them. So I want one right here. I want to know this one. I want to know this one at the bottom. And then finally over here. If you go back to the calculator part, you can see where the intersections are. I can clearly see the points. So I know A is 1, 5, B is 11, 5. C is 5, negative 1, and D is 1, 3. So I have my four corner points from just using that tool, and that tool again was called Intersect. I'm going to quickly go back to the PowerPoint and say I put these little shortcuts for you if you want them. So if you do greater than with equals, it becomes greater than or equal to. If you do less than with equals, it's less than or equal to. The double and becomes a logical and in that and, which is that upside down B, means we want to have the solution area show without the extra shading. It's putting all of those conditions together at the same time, which is awesome. 
And then remember, to get your boundary lines, we're just going to go back to the inequalities, make them equations, and then use the intersection tool. Click on the points of intersection, however many there are, and it'll give you the points.